beat syncing a sample is a quick and easy method of synchronizing the length of its playback to a certain number of lines. Although its simplicity has been retained since the early days of Renoise, it's affected by a couple of factors introduced in recent versions. So let's take a look. When BeatSync is enabled, the length of sample playback will be automatically changed so that it lasts for the amount of lines selected in this value box. Typically, especially for drum beats, you'll use a value that works well with the pattern or phrase length. Though, of course, you should just do whatever is best for the situation. It's important to emphasize here that the beat sync is calculated using the actual length of the sample waveform. So if that's incorrect relative to its contents, either too short or too long, then important points of the waveform are not going to properly line up. The sample playback will auto-update to match any changes to the BPM or LPB. The LPB value that's normally tracked for this is the one that controls the song. However, if the sample is being played from a phrase, either in the Renoise Phrase Editor, or if you're using our Redux plugin, then the LPB value that's used is the one from that phrase. As an alternative to using Active Beat Sync, the T button synchronizes the sample at the moment it is pressed by setting the correct transpose and fine tune values. This allows you to make changes to these settings after syncing. Unlike the default playback mode. Repitch is the standard behaviour, where the sample is locked at the pitch that matches the song's tempo. This disables the transpose and fine tune parameters and also means you're unable to play the sample at any other pitches. The other two modes allow the sample to be played at any pitch via time stretching. Where they differ is in what aspects of the audio should be given priority when stretched, especially at extreme settings. The first method preserves fast attacks, making it ideal for percussion. While the second method retains tonal accuracy, making it ideal for textures. When loading a sample, an appropriate number of lines will be automatically estimated and inserted into the BeatSync value box, overwriting any existing value. If you'd prefer, this can be disabled in the Files tab of the Preferences menu. <laughs> 